Well, conflicting reports about whether New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez plans to resign. All right, this in the wake of his conviction on federal bribery and corruption charges. Fox 5's Teresa Priolo live in Union City with reaction from his constituents tonight. Teresa. Yeah, Stephen, Natasha, Union City is the city that made Bob Menendez. You walk around here, neighbors will tell you that's where he used to get his haircut. That's his favorite breakfast spot. That's his favorite dinner spot, which is precisely why they tell me they are so disappointed and even hurt by Tuesday's verdict. It makes us look bad, you know, as a community, a Latino community, you know. So that, what does that mean when uh, another Spanish leader is going to take another position? So it's going to be the same thing, you know, they're not going to trust us. Here in Union City, New Jersey, the legacy of Senator Bob Menendez looms large. This tiny enclave once celebrated their native son, who rose from Union City mayor to New Jersey's senior senator. Now in the wake of the jury's guilty verdict Tuesday, there are some who wish he would resign. Do you want him to step down from office, you want him to give up his seat? He has to, he has to yeah. Union City is known as Havana on the Hudson, a safe and welcoming city for Cubans immigrating to the U.S. That's the environment Menendez grew up in. I know him, and then I know him for a long time. Juana owns a barber shop on Bergen Line, where a teenage Menendez used to get his hair cut. I'm hurt because, you know, he's my friend. And then I'm hurt for the children and hurt for him. And then um, I don't believe it because I don't know him like they say he is. Everybody here either knows Menendez personally or knows of him. And despite the allegations against him, they have considered him a neighbor and advocate. I do not understand the bad things that people say about what happened, and I certainly can't talk about it. I always respected him and admired him. I'm told Senator Menendez is weighing his options. He has two choices right now. He can resign on his own accord or remain in office and face an expulsion vote from any number of Democratic colleagues, including Senator Cory Booker. The latter is far more involved. The last time a sitting senator was expelled was in 1862 during the Civil War. Once Menendez is out of office, there's debate over who Governor Phil Murphy will pick to replace him. My sources tell me he's keen to appoint the state's first female senator. That person would hold office until the new year. I was in touch with Senator Menendez's office today. I was told that there's very few people left working there, a skeletal staff. But when I reached out to them, they told me that the office is staffed and operational and available to help their constituents. That's the latest from Union City tonight. Steve and Natasha, back to both of you.